Hi, and welcome to video one of my uh, pre-exam revision videos in preparation for your end of year exams next week. Uh, so I'm going to focus primarily in the next couple of videos on um, combinations and permutations. And in particular, question one from 6.1 will be my first focus because that was a particular question asked for. So enjoy. Uh, so 1A, remembering this is from the exercise before we did permutations and combinations officially, so you can do these questions without them, but I will be focusing on doing the questions with them. How many words can be made from the letters of the word catering using different permutations according to each of the following rules? Any four letters may be used without repetition. So if any four letters may be used without repetition, then the answer is obviously four ways, um, eight ways of choosing the first letter, seven ways of choosing the second letter, six ways of choosing the third letter, five ways of the fourth letter, and we multiply those together. Mathematically, this is 8p4, which equals 8 factorial over 4 factorial, and multiplied out, this is 1680. 1b, any four letters may be used with repetition permitted. So in this case, it's not a permutation at all. There are eight ways of choosing each letter each time. So it is eight times eight times eight times eight, which is eight to the power of four, which is 4096. C, one vowel and three consonants must be used without repetition. At this point, it's, rec it's important to recognize that there are three vowels and five consonants in this letter, uh, in this word, sorry. So I'm going to be using those numbers to make my calculation. One vowel means that out of the three, I need to choose one of them. So it's 3p1. Five, uh, three consonants means that out of the five, I need to choose three of them. And order does matter here. But then I've also got to consider how my vowels and consonants could be mixed up. And the way I do that is by picking a vowel or the consonants and looking at how many ways or places I could place those. So in this case, I'm going to choose the vowel. And I could, out of the four letters, four, I could put it in, choose one, um, so four spots. So it is four, choose one. One spot out of the four. Um, and in this case, I multiply all of those together and I get 720. Question D asks for two vowels and two consonants. So this time it is 3p2 times 5p2 times 4c2. And again, this will be equal to 720, uh, which might seem a bit strange. But for the increases in 4c2, which equals 6 now, there is a decrease because I'm choosing only two from the larger group and I'm choosing two from the smaller group. So it does work out. And then E, which again is a very similar question, three vowels and one consonant, which is 3P3 for the vowels, 5P1 for the consonants, four choose three for the vowels, and this will equal 120. It's important to remember here that with our combinations, our C, we have a normal distribution type uh, range of values. So 4C1 is equal to 4C3. So had I have chosen to consider the consonants instead of the vowels, I would have got the same answer. Question F says at least one vowel and at least one consonant must be used without repetition in four letter words. So at least one vowel means I have to have one, two or three vowels. At least one consonant means I have to have one, two or three. I can't have four because that means I won't have one vowel. And that is basically C, D and E are my only options. So I simply add them up and I get 1560. So sum of um, 1v, 3 consonant, plus 2v, 2 consonant, plus 3v, 1 consonant, and that is equal to 1560. And finally, question G. 
Question G says, at least two vowels and at least two consonants must be used without repetition in a six letter word. So, this time I'm talking about the sum of at least two vowels, two vowels and four consonants, that's at least two of each. Three vowels and three consonants, that's at least two of each. Or four vowels and two consonants, and that's at least two of each. But it's important to recognize here, I'll even use a different colored pen to show this, that four vowels can't actually be true because we don't have four vowels in our set. So we're only dealing with the sum of two different things. Now the number of ways of choosing two vowels and four consonants from six letters are 3P2 to choose the vowels, 4P, uh, sorry not 4, 5P4 to choose the consonants, and then 6, because there's 6 letters in total, C2 to look at the way the vowels can be ordered. And I have to add to that, 3P3 to choose the vowels in the second uh, method, 5 P3 to choose the consonants and 6C3 um, to look at the ways the vowels could be ordered. And this is equal to 6 times 120 times 15 plus 6 times 60 times 20. And on your calculator, you'll be able to quickly work out that this is 1000. 800, this is 7,200, and that's not 1,800, that's 10,800, sorry, and in total that is 18,000. And that is question one from exercise 6.1 completed.